Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on iTalki. Today's episode, I'm going to talk about the past, present, and the future of where I have lived, are currently living, and may live in the future. I am from the United States. I was born and raised in a small village near Cleveland and Akron, in the state of Ohio. Most of my family still live in Ohio, so whenever I have to go back to the United States, I have to swing by and see them. When I was 24, I got married, and within three months, my husband and I moved to England. We moved via cruise ship. We used the Queen Mary II, which is owned by Cunard. It took six nights to arrive in Southampton, England. From there, we took two trains to get to the city named Leeds. Leeds is three hours by train from London. It is in the north of England. We lived in various apartments within Leeds over the course of nearly six years. It was a great place to live. We met lots of great people and made lots of great friends that we still are friends with today. After nearly six years of living and working in Leeds, we needed to move. After my husband had completed his education, he needed to find a job. He was quite lucky because he received several job offers in various places throughout England. We ended up settling in a city named Norwich. It is located about two hours from London to the east. It is about a half hour from the sea. Compared to Leeds, it's a really tiny city. There are not a lot of people living here. After living in Norwich for two years, I decided to go back to university for my master's degree. I got accepted to every university that I applied for, and I chose one in London. My husband and I packed up and moved to London. It was great first arriving in London. There were lots of things to do and see, plenty of restaurants to enjoy, and also plenty of pubs. Unfortunately, during our time there, the pandemic hit. So the whole country went into lockdown, which meant London was actually kind of boring. It was really neat to see London without any tourists or any people. I felt like I was in my village that I grew up in once more. Very quiet, very easy to walk down the street as there are no other pedestrians. The buses were empty. The train stations were not busy at all, even during rush hour. It was a really strange situation to experience. But ultimately, I did enjoy it, because how often are you going to see London empty? We lived in London for about a year and five months before we decided that it was not worth paying the expensive rent. We returned back to Norwich, which is where I currently am. We have been living in Norwich now for eight months. Actually, it has been less than eight months because we spent a month and a half back in the United States. So I guess you could say that we've been here for six and a half months. Now, let's talk about the future. As I am an American, my visa eventually runs out here in England. Our visas do expire next year. So we must decide what do we do next? Do we stay in England? Do we go back to America? Or do we go someplace else? For about a year now, we've had the impression that we need to make decision before next year, before everything expires. However, we haven't really had to make the decision because it's been made for us. My sweet husband has been given a job offer in some place new, which means that it is a fantastic opportunity for the both of us. Currently, we are in the process of waiting for our visas. So, we are not staying in the United Kingdom, nor are we going back to the United States. Our next adventure leads us to Japan. We are going to be living in a place called Kyushu. We are both ecstatic about our new adventure. It's going to be challenging because, well, I'm not very fluent in Japanese. And we've never lived in a place like this before. So we're going to have to get used to the culture, people, accents, and of course, the language. 
This next chapter does take us even further away from home. However, it's not really that much different, because either way we would take a plane to go see our family, and they would take a plane to go see us. So, I guess it's not that big of a deal? Hopefully in our new home, more of our friends and family can come see us. While living in England, only a handful of people that we know have visited us, and that is partially due to the fact that we had a pandemic to deal with. Many people that I know say they'll probably try to come see us. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. They didn't come see us while we were here, so why would they come to see us in a place that's even further away from them? I think I covered everything. Just to recap, I started off in Ohio in the United States, then I ended up in England for a very long time, and now I should be going to Japan. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time. Bye.